Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike for another cycling related video. It's been a bit too cold these days to work in the garage and do bike maintenance videos. So today it's all about this, Athletic Greens or AG1 as it's branded and robots. And uh, stay tuned to find out what the link is between this and what you just saw. But what I will tell you is that in the video you just saw, it is of a humanoid robot named Atlas performing parkour, and it is not CGI, that is actual real footage. Full disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist, trainer, or doctor. I'm just an average cyclist that has spent a bit of time reading about and has an interest in sports performance and optimizing nutrition and have tried different supplement routines over the years to find out what works and what doesn't work for me. Having said that, what works for me may not work for you. So please, if you are making any significant changes to your nutrition or your any dietary requirements, including supplements, uh, please consult with your doctor. So first, a little bit about the product. So Athletic Greens is one of the green supplements on the market today. It is by no means without competition. There are a lot of similar products being marketed, but this one in particular has received a huge influx of cash over the last few years and is marketing the product through a variety of channels. So for that reason and others, it deserves a serious look. According to the company, Athletic Greens supports five core areas of health, those being nervous system and immune system, digestion, gut health, and liver, energy production and storage, hormone, neural, and adaptogen support, and antioxidants. Among the claimed benefits are increased energy, better absorption of nutrients, and improvement in immune system. A little bit about Athletic Greens, the company. It was recently valued at 1.2 billion and plays within the lucrative $7 trillion wellness market. The founder and CEO is someone by the name of Chris Asherton, who started the company in 2010. He is self-labeled as a wellness-obsessed person, and he found himself quite sick a number of years ago, uh, spent a lot of time with doctors trying to have his situation diagnosed, and what it turned out to be is that his body wasn't absorbing nutrients properly. He originally went on a regimen of 50 pills a day to try to get his nutrient levels bumped up. And that's really where he started thinking about the concept for Athletic Greens. He was looking for a better way to get nutrients absorbed within the body and to get the right mix of nutrients. So why do Athletic Greens deserve any more attention than any other green supplement on the market today? Uh, maybe they don't. But here are two reasons why I decided to give it a try and to produce this video. First, it just so happens that three of the podcasters that I listen to the most these days use Athletic Greens. Now, full disclaimer, they are all sponsored by Athletic Greens. However, I think they have certain traits that make them a more valuable referral than say, well, I won't say. But I will say that they are all accomplished scientists within their chosen fields, and they are fact-based, critical thinkers that form opinions based on evidence. And all of them make wellness a big part of their daily life. Andrew Huberman, who's a professor of neurobiology and ophthalmology at Stanford University, and has a Huberman Lab podcast. David St. Clair, who's a professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and co-director of the Aging Research Lab and Lex Friedman, who's a professor at MIT, specializing in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and get it, robotics. There's a robotics connection. His podcast has been going since 2008, and he covers a lot of areas from science to wellness to health to sports. And the second reason I think Athletic Greens should be given some consideration is that it's the first sponsor of USA Cycling. And I'm pretty sure USA Cycling would not want to attach its name to a product with unfounded claims. On paper, why is it so promising? A lot of people point to the fact that it has very stringent quality controls in place. It is registered as certified for sport under NSF International. It's manufactured in a TGA facility in New Zealand. It has no GMOs, no herbicides, no pesticides, 
No artificial colors or flavoring, no dairy, gluten-free. It has lots of good stuff in it, 75 ingredients to be correct, classified into four categories. There are minerals important for the proper functioning of the immune system. These are things like chromium, magnesium, and zinc, among many others. Then there are nutrient dense ingredients. These are organic products such as spirulina, lysithin, chlorella, beetroot barley leaf, carrot root, and wheatgrass. Pre and probiotics have received a lot of attention recently, not just for improving overall GI health, but improving all aspects of health. The purpose is to clean the gut, which speeds up digestion, and this allows nutrients to be absorbed in the body more quickly. The last category are herbs and antioxidants, and one dose contains high quality raw foods equivalent to 12 servings of fruits and vegetables. And the third reason why I think it's promising is that this product has been produced specifically with athletes in mind. So it's something I'm interested in and something I expect you as a viewer are interested in as well. So now on to my review and my experience with this product. So I started taking Athletic Greens two weeks ago, replacing my previous supplement routine with this. I would say that beyond replacing my regular vitamin and supplement regimen with Athletic Greens, everything else has stayed pretty much the same in my life. My diet and fasting regimen has been the same. My workout schedule has pretty much been the same, except I've had more back-to-back -back hard threshold efforts. So I did complete a pretty hard block of training. So if anything, my training load has been higher in the last two weeks than previously. I would say that I feel like I have a bit more energy day over day, but I definitely noticed that my ability to recover from hard efforts is much quicker. And I'll talk a little bit about that a bit later. I also can't say whether or not my experience is due to the placebo effect. In any case, it's only been two weeks, so I need to test this out for several weeks more or months before I develop a firm position on it. So my early assessment is that I do notice an improvement, but I wouldn't say it's a night and day difference from some other supplements I'm taking that I'll talk about in another episode. Okay, enough with the anecdotal stuff. Let's look at a bit of data heart rate variability or HRV data to be specific. So heart rate variability or HRV is the variability in time between your heartbeats. And for the general public like you and me, it's the only easy way for us to measure the health of our autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system has two branches. It has the parasympathetic system, which is the rest and digest and the sympathetic system, which is the fight and flight. All different types of stress will impact your heart rate variability. It can be more of a physical stress, like a training stress, or more of a mental or emotional stress that you might get through work. Your heart communicates with both branches of the autonomic nervous system. The rest and digest tells your heart to slow down and allows for more variability between beats, while the fight and flight tells your heart to speed up and allows for less variability between beats. So contrary to popular belief, a heart that is beating very regularly, day over day, week over week, is not a healthy heart. A healthy, well-rested, and ready to perform heart is one that has some amount of variability in it. Otherwise, it's simply running on autopilot, so to speak, which is not a good situation for you to be in. Since HRV is such an effective tool to measure your body's response to stress, you can see that for the athlete, it could be an invaluable tool to measure how your body is responding to your training stress over a period of days or weeks. I'll talk about that a bit more in other episodes, but it is what I think a very significant tool to use to improve your training and particularly to prevent from overtraining. Okay, so let's look at my HRV scores. So I've been tracking my HRV for almost two years now. And for all but the last two weeks, my seven day rolling average has consistently stayed at between 6.7 and 6.8 on the HRV for training 10 point scoring system. Shown here are my scores for the last two years. Zero represents 
the lowest or poorest HRV score and 10 is the highest or best HRV score. So let's zoom in on my HRV scores over the past two weeks. You can see that the average is 7.2 and that represents a 6% increase over my previous 6.8 average HRV score. The start of that two week period coincides with the day I started taking Athletic Greens. I think that's a very significant change in HRV. 7.2 used to be what I would record on my very, very best days, and now that represents my average. So that's about all the positive things I can say about Athletic Greens having taken over the past two weeks. As for the negatives, there's only one that some may see as a significant negative, and that's price. So you'll pay anywhere from $2.48 to $3.30 US, depending on the bundle you choose. It's only available through the US, so if you're in Canada like myself, you will have to order it from outside the country. But some people may consider that too much of an expense for a green supplement or for a supplement in general. So is it worth it? Well, that's for you to decide. For me, I'm giving it two solid thumbs up. I'll certainly want to do a review after a longer period of time, maybe six months or a year, and really do a thorough assessment as to whether or not I've noticed a significant enough improvement to justify having changed my supplement routine. That's all I got today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. It allows me to produce more content for you, the viewer. That's it for now. Happy rolling, everyone.